Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be on this look right here. I saw a picture on Pinterest that was pinned from Instagram and I was immediately drawn to it and wanted to try to recreate it. So this is what the picture looks like. I'm not sure who it is or who to give credit to, but that's where I got it from. I did not make this up. I just thought I would try my best to recreate it. So this is what I came up with. And if you like this look and want to see how I got it, then please keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, I have already done one eye and I used a whole heap of different things. I've gotten out everything colorful. I have blushes, eyeshadows, pigments, mattes, shimmers, whatever you have colorful, it'll work. It doesn't have to be the exact same shades that I'm using, but I will kind of tell you what I am using as I'm using it. So let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a transition shade in the crease as usual, and I am just using... Um, laced from the Urban Decay Vice palette, the first one. And I'm just going to put that in my crease with a fluffy brush just to give us something to blend with. And I have the picture sitting right here on my tablet, so if I'm kind of glancing down, it's because I'm using that as a guide. Okay, so then I'm going to mix a couple of light pinky purple shades for another transition color. This is going to be up a little bit higher than the purple when we go in with that, just so you can kind of see it peeking through. And I'm mixing two blushes for this. I'm using Precious Plum from La Femme, and I don't know the name of this one. I think it's I think it's a Wet Wild blush. It looks like this. So one's a little more pinky, one's a little more purpley, and I'm just mixing those together with a fluffy brush and placing them into the crease. And taking a smaller fluffy brush, this is a MAC 217, and I'm going to mix a couple of purple colors. These are from a Wet n Wild palette, so they don't have a name anyways, but I am just going to pat that onto the outer V and then bring it into the crease and bring it all the way in. And again, I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher than you might normally, just so whenever I put this red on, it'll still peek through above that. And I'm putting it a little bit higher on the inner half, but then I'm keeping it lower on the outer half and just letting that pinky color shine through. Okay, so then I'm taking a really small brush. This is a Morphe E36, and I'm going to mix a couple of red shades. Um, this first one is Coral from La Femme, and then I'm going to use the red from the Morphe 9B blush palette. I'm just going to mix those together, and I'm just going to place it right on the inner part of the crease, keeping it lower so that that purple will still shine through, but not going on to the lid. Moving on to the orange, I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush. This one is from e.l.f. And I'm mixing the top left shade of the Morphe 9B palette and Summer Fling from Make It Geek. And I'm just going to pat that onto the inner half of my lid, meaning up to the red and over to the purple. Take a little more purple on that MAC 217 and just kind of lightly blend them together. I 
And then taking a dome brush, and I'm going to take a dark purple, again from Wet n Wild, it doesn't have a name, and the Desperation color from the um, Urban Decay Vice palette, it's just like a dark gray-brown color, and I'm just going to put that in the very outer corner just to give it a little bit of dimension and definition. Then go back with the 217 and a little more purple and just kind of blend it out. I'm going to touch up the red a little bit. You can just kind of go back and forth with the colors as you see fit because they can kind of get a little bit faded when you blend. So just go back and touch them up as you see you need to. Okay, moving on to the bottom lash line I am taking. This is a Morphe M507. It's a really small blending brush. And I am taking the color Chaos from the Vice palette. And I'm just going to smudge that along the outer half of my lower lash line. I'm going to bring it down decently far. Then taking a flat definer brush, this is a Sigma E15 and a couple of really dark blues that are from Wet n Wild. I'm just going to press that up against the base of my lashes, again just for a little bit of dimension. And then go back in and blend it out with a little bit more of that chaos color. Then taking that same brush and a bright green shade. This one is from Wet n Wild again, but you can use whatever you have. And I'm just going to put that on the inner half of my lower lash line. And I'm also going to bring it slightly underneath the blue. Just kind of like halfway underneath the blue, not all the way. Then I'm just going to highlight under my brow and I'm using the shade Anonymous from the Vice Palette. It's just a matte cream color shade. Okay, so then for my inner corner, this took some work because it wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. So um, you certainly don't have to use this mix of colors I'm about to use, just use whatever you prefer, but I'm going to start off by wetting a pencil brush, and I am taking this Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter, that, and this is in the shade Golden Lights, and I first just applied that just to get the really potent, bright, metallic shade. Just put that in the inner corner and slightly bring it onto the orange a little bit. Okay, so for some reason my left eye is like really glossy and bloodshot right now. I'm not really sure why, so please ignore that. Okay, so after that, to make it a little bit more white, I took the vanilla pigment from MAC and I put that over it. And then I decided I still wanted it a little bit more white, so I'm taking the shade White from the Lorac Pro Palette and just patting that over it as well. You can go over it with a little bit more pigment if you want it to be more shimmery. And again, you don't have to use all these shades. It was just a guess and test game just to see how it would come out, so you use whatever you feel. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the shadow. Like I said, you can go back and add and blend as you see fit. Now I'm just going to line my upper and lower waterline with a black pencil. This one is from NYX. Okay. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm just going to apply a wing liner and some lashes, and I am using the House of Lashes in a Style Iconic, and then I'm going to finish the rest of my face, and I will come back and show you the completed look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I think it turned out really good. It's super bold and bright and fun and great for summer. So if you guys did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you all on the next one. Bye.